next guest says that even though you may not know it, your brain is under attack from wheat, carbs, and sugar, and he wants you to be aware of it. He's even written a book about it called Grain Brain. We want to welcome Dr. David Perlmutter to the show. Now, Doc, folks have been eating grains for thousands of years, and now suddenly we hear that grains are a problem. How can that be? Well, you're, you're right. We've been eating grains for thousands of years, and that represents about 0.01% of the time that we've been here. So, uh, you know, in reality, for the past two and a half million years, we haven't eaten any grain, and it's only been very, very recently that that came into our diets. And it turns out that grains, like wheat, contain a protein called gluten, and what the science is all about really focuses on the fact that gluten is toxic to the human body. Now, you know, that's something that people don't want to accept as you look down at your croissant or your bagel or whole grain toast. But in reality, uh, the leading science that we wrote Grain Brain uh, about really demonstrates that we don't need to have that in our diets, that in fact, gluten in the diet turns on inflammation, which is the cornerstone of such dreaded things as Alzheimer's disease. Wow, okay, so now we're constantly told to cut back on fat, yet your new book, well, it says the exact opposite. So why do you say that we should be eating more fat? Again, fat is part of the diet that we've eaten for millions of years. We've always eaten fat, and until, uh, up until about 1992, fat was a very integral, important, good part of the human diet. All of the research now clearly focuses on the important role of dietary fat in human health. Now that doesn't mean all dietary fat. There's certainly some bad fats that are out there. The modified hydrogenated trans fats that we've all learned about. But taking the good fats out of your diet will pave the way to having a brain problem. You need extra virgin olive oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, uh, fish, wild fish. Those are really good important fats. You know, I don't know you personally, Michael, but your brain is 70% fat. I'm not picking on you, but the, the truth of the matter is, your brain is mostly fat, and it's made from the fats that you choose to consume. Nothing could be worse for human health, as published in our most well-respected peer-reviewed journals, than cutting back on good dietary fats, because the problem is, when you do that, you add in carbohydrates, and as you mentioned, as I talk about in Grain Brain, those carbohydrates are directly toxic to your brain and pave the way for our most dreaded brain disorders, like Alzheimer's. Got it. Um, so you talk a lot about um, grain brain. Um, you talk a lot about grain brain rehab, right? So I'm intrigued. What is that? Absolutely. Exactly? Well, you know, when you make these changes in your diet and lifestyle, because there's an exercise component of the grain brain a plan, what we're seeing now is that people within a couple of weeks suddenly notice that they're sharper, they are more energetic, they're remembering things, oddly enough, that they have forgotten for a long time. The brain has what we call a lot of plasticity. That doesn't mean it's made out of plastic. It means it, it, means it can reshape itself and can regain function, so you can absolutely gain a second chance. And beyond that, when you engage the, the plan that we talk about in Grain Brain, it protects the brain. It brings the science of preventive medicine now to the brain. And, you know, that might well be the reason that this has become a number one national bestseller in the category of brain health. People was, are absolutely desperate for this information. I was just going to say, yes, number one bestseller. Congratulations, Doc. Thanks for joining us this morning. Grain Brain. Hey, Thank let's you, toss Michael. It, you bet. My pleasure. Let's toss it over to Michelle.